Hey, how's it going? I'm back with the fifth episode of AI Tutorials by Focuses. Few of you guys have asked me to continue the series, so here I am. So now let's get started. From the previous video, we learned what is agent and types of agent. To quickly remind you guys, there were four types of agent, which is simple reflex agent, model based agent, goal based agent, and utility based agent. So in this episode, we're going to learn simple reflex agent in detail. So simple reflex agent are very simple kind of agent. It is simple because it basically ignores all the percept history and acts only on the basis of the current percept. Now we already know what is perception from the previous video. But if you don't know, it is just the way in which something understands or interprets. Here something means of course the agent. So basically simple reflex agent ignores what it already knows before making any kind of decision. So if agent had any knowledge base, then it is ignored. Now simple reflex agent is based on condition action rule, which basically is if then rule. That is if condition is true, action is taken, else not. Another thing you need to know is simple reflex agent only works on fully observable environment. That means simple reflex agent only gets success if all the rules defined about the environment are correct. This basically signifies agent should know all about the environment just to get all the rules correct. Alright, now let's see a simple diagram to understand how simple reflex agent actually works. So here's the quick simple diagram. First of all, from the environment, our agent will get or perceive various information through the sensors. Since agent has information about the environment, it will know what the world or basically the environment is like now. This can be also said as the current situation of the environment. Now after the current situation of the environment is known, we can apply the condition action rules, which is basically if then rule. Now after the rules is applied, the agent will know what action should I do now. So that means the agent will basically decide what kind of action is needed to be done in the environment. Now that action is carried on the environment with the help of actuators. Now in this way, simple reflex agent basically performs the tax. Now let's see the example to be more clear. Let's say there is a simple reflex agent to just turn on your lights when it is dark. So the rule for that is if it is dark, then turn on lights. This is the simple if then rule. Now if you go back in the figure, environment will basically be our room. Now the sensor will perceive the information from our room and knows what our room is like now. That is, it knows the current situation of our room. It is dark or not. So the condition rules is applied to the current known situation. Condition rule was if it is dark, then turn on lights. So of course it is dark. So it knows what action to take. The action is to turn on the lights because it is dark. So now the lights are turned on with the help of actuators. The actuators in this case can be some kind of movable motors which can turn on the lights. So I hope this clears it out. Now let's see the problem of simple reflex agent. One of the major problem is that it has very, very limited intelligence. Since simple reflex agent only knows what is written in the rule, the actual intelligence of the agent is very, very low. And another problem of simple reflex agent is, usually the rules are too big to generate and store. In the real life scenario, simple reflex agent should have thousands and thousands of rules to work properly, which is very difficult to achieve for complex tasks. And of course, if there is any change in the environment, the whole rule should be updated. So let's say if there is a small change in the environment that simple reflex agent was working on, then the entire set of rules should be updated. Otherwise, our simple reflex agent will simply fail working. So if you have any questions, then you can comment down below. In the next video, we'll be seeing model-based agent in detail. So I'll see you guys there.